Stop 23 on the Michigan er, on the Kessel Chick Cup Series brings us to Michigan Speedway. Show me the Carfax. <laughs> yeah, the Carfax 400 at Michigan Speedway. On the pole at 208.617 miles an hour is Mike Becker alongside of him. Skylin Carlson, row two, has Aaron Reed in the 66 and Josh Osborne, our winner, winner at the Glen in the 15 car. Row three has Johnny Gardner and jo Josh Sears. Row four, Zed Weinstein looking for the sweep in the 70 car. And Dylan Poteet in the 94. Row five, a pair of Fords. Derek Walker in the 26 and the 6 of Jasmine Acosta. Row th six has Adam Chambers and Ann Batson. Row seven has Michael Dawson and Keith Batson. Row eight, Ashley Sears and Alexander Dawson. And row nine has Jake... Sears and Zach Carlson in row 10. Jack Richards and Trey Campbell is your top 20 starting position. The field being in control. The field is in control by Mike Becker in the number 42 car. The man who won the Jeff Bird 500 presented by Food City at Bristol, Tennessee, which is probably going to be the next stop on the tour. And the green flag waves. The Carfax 400 is on. 20 laps around this racetrack. Aaron Reed dives to the inside. He's gonna wait. He's gonna waste no time. And Aaron Reed, number 66, Trop Arctic Pontiac, takes the lead with Johnny Gardner in the second position. Mike Becker hung out the dry in the third spot. Now our pole sitter. And Johnny Gardner decides he wants the five bonus points for leading the first lap. All of them just run right around. I mean, they are on each other like a pack of. What I'm trying to say is on each other like a hand bone in a room, like throwing a hand bone in a room full of pit bulls, I guess you might say. I don't know what I'm talking about. Aaron Reed led the first lap, but when he got off into turn one, Johnny Gardner has the lead now, number 18. He's trying to gain all he can point, all the points he can on Ashley Sears, who started outside the top 10. Johnny Gardner just needs to be solid here at Michigan. But if you're in a point chase, that's all, that's all you need is solid runs. Maybe you go for the wins every now and then. And right now, Johnny Gardner in command. The funny thing is, he has not won a race yet. That's the funny thing. Oh, whereas Ashley Sears has won one. That was the Daytona 500. That's what's helped her keep the points lead. Adam Chambers, our Brickyard 400 winner, goes in the second position now, number 17. He's been on a hot streak. He's third in points right now. He wants to try to finish ahead of Johnny Gardner to take second in the points. Josh Sears, then Aaron Reed has got Ashley Sears right helping him. And Ashley's going to make a bonsai dive to the inside of Aaron Reed and her brother Josh in the one car. Ashley up the fourth, but cannot get close to her brother Josh. To try to take second, third of spot away as Johnny Gardner continues to lead this field. The number 18 Interstate Batteries Chevrolet, the Bobby Labonte paint scheme for 1995. Adam Chambers, the Western Auto number 17, the 1991 Daryl Waltrip car. Has served Adam well so far this season. Whereas that same number 17 has not been running good in the Bush Nationwide Series, but Adam's been running very, very well in it in the Castro GTX Cup Series. As evidence right here, he's taking the lead away from Johnny Gardner. Jake, or Josh Sears goes in the number two position now in the number one car. Now he's going to try for the lead out of turn number four. <clears throat> he's got second now as Ashley Sears Gets clo getting close to her brother now, but Aaron Reed's going to try to make a dive on her at the same time. Little bumper-to-bumper -bumper racing here at 200-plus miles an hour at Michigan. Very fun and very wide track, may we say, too. Taking third of field, Adam Chambers still leads. Aaron Reed right now running in third spot with Josh Sears in second. Ashley Sears in third, fourth position now. 
Here comes Alexander Dawson, a former Michigan winner. He won the season two spring race. And he's looking very strong again. Zed Weinstein going for the Michigan sweep in the number 70. Keith Batson right behind in a 28 car. Hard competitive. They're a very hard competitor, no doubt, in the number 28 car. Part of that Batson Doobie team and look him and Jeremy Doobie and along uh, of course with Keith's wife Ann, who right now rides 13th in the race. So we continue to watch this gaggle of cars down the backstretch. Mike Becker going by Ashley Sears. Ashley losing some points here. Because Johnny Gardner, well, no, Johnny Gardner's actually, one of the cars actually getting ready to pass Ashley now, as a matter of fact, as he's being put, as he's pushing Josh Osborne, our Watkins Glen winner in the 15. And look at this, four wide in the turn number one. Johnny Gardner escapes that deal right there, but Mike Becker stuck on the high side now. So is Keith, so is Keith Batson, Derek Walker, and this in the 26 as well. We continue to watch this battle for position. Ashley Sears and Keith Batson continue to drop like a rock. And Batson getting around, trying to get around Ashley. The 24 of Ashley and the 3 of Ann. <laughs> kind of weird. Girls driving a Dale Earnhardt car and a Jeff Gordon car. And another girl driving a Mark Martin car there. That is Jasmine Acosta, our winner at Chicagoland Speedway. She's getting in this mix too. Skylon Carlson, another female in the 21. Has had success this season in the Cash GTX Cup Series. So, and has also had some success in the Sunoco Cup Series. Alexander Dawson for the lead, and he's got it with the help of Adam Chambers in the 17. <coughs> and Johnny Gardner dropping back is good news for Adam Chambers because that may get him in second position in the points after this race, but I shouldn't speak too soon because Johnny Gardner is moving up again. And it's going to be Chambers, I believe, leading this lap. Yes, by a half a car length over Alexander Dawson. But Alexander's not giving up without a fight. But here comes Johnny Gardner in the 18 car. Trying to get by Josh Osborne on the outside. It's not going to be a smart move because he's going to get stuck on the outside and get drop kicked back some several spots. Usually if you're on the outside, you are screwed. Eight to go here at Michigan. Alexander Dawson sticks that nose of his fourth to the inside of that Chevrolet of Adam Chambers. As they come down to the first turn, second turns, it's going to be Dawson out in front. Chambers down to second. Here comes Josh Osborne with the help of Zed Weinstein in the number 70. And Weinstein is going to be three wide in turns three and four. Zed Weinstein tries to go for the number two spot. Try to sweep Michigan. He won here at the spring race as they come down in a turn number one. Josh Osborne not giving up a fight. Mike Becker dumb said Weinstein. And what price did he pay? He gets stuck on the outside and we are under yellow. Oh boy, what happened? Jacob Rodriguez was Two in points at one time. Now he is. Uh, oh boy. Well, this is that was inevitable right here. Four wide between Jacob Rodriguez, John Acosta, Fred Christopher, and Eric Webler in the five. Jake Sears in this mix two in the ten. Let's see what happened.
Yeah, John, Ac John Acosta gets hit from behind by Jacob Rod Oh my goodness. John Acosta up on the hood of Fred Christopher's car. Jacob Rodriguez get gets a hard lick to the wall. But yeah, Jacob Rodriguez started this whole thing. There's no question. He hits the seven car. He taps the seven car. Of John Acosta sends him spinning. Eric Weber barely escapes that in the five. Yeah, and then that sent Jacob Rodriguez and the Fred Christopher. And oh, sputtering spark plugs. Look at that. Well, let's look from the. Let's first look for the onboard of Fred Christopher's car. This is not going to be a very pretty sight from Fred Christopher's machine. You know it's bad. And the amazing part, he still kept going. And if it's a, you know it's bad when you see tailpipes and transmission all over the place. But I believe the seven car of John Acosta is going to have a more interesting ride. Here it is from his car. From John Acosta's machine. I think Jacob Rodriguez didn't start to scratch after all. I believe Eric Webler did. He hit John Acosta and sent Acosta into Rodriguez, sent Rodriguez into Christopher. A simple accordion effect. Nevertheless, that's going to drop Jake, Jacob Rodriguez big time. That's going to drop Jacob Rodriguez big time in points because he was dropped from top five down to eight spot. <coughs> this is going to hurt him in points. Alexander Dawson leads the race. Josh Osborne in second position. Alexander Dawson looking for that first win of the season. Zed Weinstein looking for the Michigan sweep is in third. Fourth is Mike Becker. Fifth, Adam Chambers. Johnny Gardner in seventh position. Jasmine Acosta is in sixth. Then Keith Batson, eighth. Aaron Reed, ninth. Derek Walker, tenth. Ashley Sears right now our championship leader in 13th spot. She better get the moving if she wants to try to gain some points. But right now, the green flag waves. We will have three laps to go here at Michigan. And Alexander Dawson gets a good start. He's looking for that first win of the season still. He's in the top ten in points right now. But watch Josh Osborne and Zed Weinstein close up. Weinstein to second. Now here they come down the back stretch. Adam Chambers moving down in the third spot now. Trying to take third, I should say, from Josh Osborne. Now said Weinstein all over the back bumper of Alexander Dawson as they come out of the fourth turn. Two laps to go. <clears throat> Zed Weinstein crack catching a draft off of Alexander Dawson. Tight draft in the turn number one. As Zed Weinstein to the inside for the lane, he's got it in turn two. But Alexander Dawson's not giving up a fight. They're going to go drag us down the back stretch, and Weinstein's got it by a car length now. Here comes Chambers. He's looking for his third of the season. He won at Sonoma and Indianapolis. Chambers did. Zed Weinstein, he won at Michigan. The spring race is a white flag. Wins. Can he hold on for the sweep? Not if Adam Chambers got anything to say about that in the 17 car. Off in the turn number two they come. Here comes Mike Becker for the number two position. That's going to all but clinch it for Zed Weinstein pretty much unless Becker's got a strong enough horse. But out of turn number four it's going to be Zed Weinstein out of turn number four. You might say Michigan is his favorite play. Zed Weinstein sweeps Michigan as he wins the Carfax 400. What a race for him. Third of the season, he got, uh, should mention he also won Pocono 2, the Mr. Excitement 500. But 
Average speed 150.965. Zed Weinstein, the winner. Mike Becker, second. Derek Walker, third. Adam Chambers finishes in fourth. Fifth is Josh Sears. Sixth, Aaron Reed. Seventh, Johnny Gardner. Eighth, Alex Michael Dawson. Alexander Dawson finishes ninth. And Ann Batson comes up tenth. Ashley Sears, eleventh. Keith Batson, Skylin Carlson, Josh Osborne, and Dylan Poteet. Osborne dropped from second to fourteenth. <coughs> Got caught on the high side. Jasmine Acosta, 16th. Eric Weber, 17th. Jake Sears, 18th. Trey Campbell, 19th. And 20th this Hunter Carlson matching his car number. And John Acosta finishes in 32nd position as we went to look at our final rest of our finishing order. But Zed Weinstein, three wins this season. He is in the, as he takes the sweep at Michigan on a nail biter, may we say. After 23 of 36 races, here's how the points are right now in the top 20. Ashley Sears still leads, but by 55, Adam Chambers now moves into second, 10 ahead of Johnny Gardner. <coughs> Ann Batson up to fourth position. Derek Walker, fifth. Six, Alexander Dawson. Zed Weinstein up to seventh. Keith Batson, Mike Becker, and Jasmine Acosta in the top 10 right now. And Zach Carlson right now in the 20th position. In the points, and there's the rest of the order right now. Next race on the tour, the Irwin Tools Night Race at Bristol, Tennessee.